What's up everybody, Arctic Platypus here, bringing you another video on Battlefield 1. We're going to talk about the free DLC in Battlefield 1 that might come after Giant's Shadow. I'll probably mention Giant's Shadow a little bit, but mainly what we might be able to see after Giant's Shadow. So let's go back to Battlefield 4. What did they do there? How did they make the free DLCs back in Battlefield 4? We, there were three packs, I guess you could say, but there were actually only three maps, so one for each of these packs, so it's kind of misleading. I think they could have done a lot more with it. But they had the community operations, they had the night operations, and the legacy operations. And it's only three maps, so they had one at night, which is the night Zavod map, and they had the community operations, the Operation Outbreak, then they had legacy operations, which was on Dragon Valley 2015. So they remastered Dragon Valley and put it in there. I think that was awesome. And all those three maps were very well done. I especially like the effort that DICE made to include the community in making one of the maps. But as the content packs are named, they describe a plural items because it says operations, community operations, night operations. It's talking about multiple things when there's only one map in each of the packs. So it's kind of misleading there. And I think that's really where they could expand on it and have at least two, three maps per little pack that they might do but giant shadow doesn't really have a pack associated with it so they might just they might just go the route of not misleading people with packs and just do single maps but i think they could really have a lot of potential with doing a some doing at least a night operations pack and a community operations pack and have at least two or three maps because so they could really get the community involved and that would be awesome to see that done um especially yeah they could have some really cool new maps made by the community that the dice would never really think of doing and for the night maps i think it would be awesome to play it's more stealthy you have none of the night vision you're not going to be playing with laser sights or flashlights or whatever it's just going to be back to basics stealth combat it's gonna, it would be awesome i think it'd be really cool a lot of the single player missions were at night and those just it gives a totally different feel to the gameplay and it could it could really be cool if they do it well um, and going back to Battlefield 4 as well, um, there were there were definitely some weapons added in these free packs, not really very many, but um, I think there were some battle pickups added, such as the M60 ULT in the community operations, which was an explosive round M60, really fun to use, probably overpowered, but it was a battle pickup, so that's expected. And um, what was really cool, though, about one of these was on Dragon Valley, they had an awesome easter egg, a very intricate easter egg, it took a while for the YouTubers and whoever else was working on it to solve it, there were so many different steps, and then if you had to do Morse code, you had to do a bunch of buttons and stuff, you had to solve a puzzle, it was really cool, I actually did the, did the uh, easter egg and got the Dice LA camo, that was the reward, you get this cool white camo, eventually a lot of people had it so it wasn't as unique, but I think it was really fun to have such an intricate easter egg and it probably took quite a while to design such a thing it was so cool i i just love the way it worked it was an awesome puzzle it took a lot of brain power to especially for the people who had to actually figure out everything prior to the basic method that everybody uses now so um i think that'd be really cool if they could add some awesome easter eggs into some of these battlefield one free maps and I wonder if we'll see a continuation of the headphones Easter egg in the in the neck in this upcoming Giant's Shadow map, or even maybe some later free maps. And especially since they're going the premium route with Battlefield 1, which I think was kind of a mistake, since they're kind of dividing the player base, it'd be cool to have some awesome content coming in free DLC so that the non-premium players also get some awesome content, like some fun Easter eggs and such. I think that would just be an awesome way to give the community good enjoyable gameplay and uh, that's pretty much all i have to say about this video I, I think we'll probably see some single player assets used more in future free maps and it'll just be awesome to see what they can do with these free dlcs thank you so much for watching guys have a fantastic day